Today we are going to learn how to paint this simplified streetscapes. Hi friends, I am Vanidas Mangathil and uh, let us learn watercolors together. I will be showing the reference photograph and I will be explaining the entire process along with the drawing. If you are new to my channel and uh, not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell notifications. Without further ado, let us begin the tutorial. This is the reference that uh, we will be using and as you can see there are a lot of details. I am using a cold pressed watercolor paper and the size is uh, around A4. Okay, And we will be doing the uh, rough drawing, loose rough drawing at this particular point taking information from the reference. As you can see the reference has lot of details but we are drawing only the simplified shapes of it, the major shapes. Okay, So we will not be drawing the, the details of it and some of the details we can suggest uh, I mean later when we paint it. Okay, So that is the idea. The drawing is slightly far, fast forwarded for, the, for uh, reducing the overall video time but nothing is compromised, every, every details are provided in the drawing. Okay. So the, the shape of the car, the perspective of the car is important and uh, uh, then the, the background shapes and uh, then the i mean the basically the the big shapes okay you don't you have to just worry that the big shapes are drawn and the details are not drawn okay okay just uh, the big shapes the the two cars the background building and some of the background stuff and maybe uh, there are a couple of things uh, at the side of it you can, as you can see there is some auto rickshaw and some people, a, a person in a scooty. So these are the things that uh, we will be drawing. Okay, I am using a soft pencil, okay, a dark pencil. Uh, you can use any soft pencil or a, a reasonably dark uh, graphite pencil for this. And let us suggest the shape of the tree. Okay, and there is an electric pole, just the electric pole. I am drawing the electric pole. Okay. And uh, the big tree, that's it. I think our most of the drawings are now done. Okay. Now we will be starting with the process of washing. Okay, once the drawing is complete, we will be doing the washing, the background washing and uh, we will do the background building and then we will color the cars and other details that is the idea okay now adding the final i mean drawing details couple of figures and then we will then call it as done the drawing as done okay i think that is it for the drawing okay some some shadows and some directional lines now let us do the washing okay uh, i am using a grayish uh, warm grayish color for the sky Okay, and uh, then gram, uh, grayish color, warm grayish sky and little bit of blue. Okay, I am using a uh, little bit of cobalt blue or uh, cerulean blue at the top of the sky. Okay, and I am using very pale wash. Okay, very pale wash. And the tree, the, I mean, I'm sorry, the, the sky is not very important here. So I'm not, I'm just suggesting it, not too much of details, okay. Right, I think the sky is, uh, sky is done. I'm using a mop brush, uh, mop that is, uh, I mean, uh, Raphael number no. 6 mop brush I'm using. You could use any mop brush, okay. Now let us uh, make the, the road part of it, a little bit of a muddy portion of the road, okay. And that I am using burnt sienna for that, okay, burnt sienna and little bit of the, the sky mix that we have, uh, we had in our palette. So those things are mixed and we are kind of finishing the, the, the road part of it. It doesn't really matter too much as to 
the precise uh, ratio of the mix etc it should it should be reasonably representing the 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 road and the the muddy side path of the road etc okay try to use big brush as much as possible uh, because with a big brush you get uh, loose washes and uh, overall your work becomes uh, little loose okay some darker tones at the foreground i know this is wet on wet most of this uh, will be falling down okay right now i am using a little bit of a smaller brush wherever small applications are required i am using smaller brush okay some suggestion for the background building this is just suggestions okay i am not making any details we have the drawing the silhouettes we know and we are i am just trying to fill that uh, drawing and then suggesting a, a shape for the entire i mean collection of buildings okay being little careful about the edge of the car uh, that needs to be little um, i mean accurate and the color that i am using here are a little bit of uh, neutral tint and uh, some some leftover colors on the palette basically that is blue and uh, this uh, little brownish kind of color this is for the background and the background seems to be little little dark to me uh, maybe we may uh, we may need to reduce the darkness but that's okay i mean okay yeah this much uh, i feel this much is sufficient for the background portion of it okay not too much of details i will later add some some i will drop some colors in the background okay so that Uh, it it looks little bit engaging so i am dropping some colors some red colors okay and there is a big uh, advertisement board uh, in the uh, in the reference i mean it is not clearly seen because it is uh, it is covered mostly by the tree foliages which we will do later okay some dropping in of colors i don't worry too much about what precise colors we are using that is uh, just uh i mean this see we don't need the building to be just a flat wash so we are dropping in some colors we are i mean dropping some droplets we are okay so all those things we are just playing with that we might i might even spray some sprinkle some water and uh, i think yeah that much is sufficient for the background for now okay and we are now working on the car if you if you remember from the reference there are some dark the front glass of the car is reasonably dark so we are suggesting that we will later add some shadows to that okay again the car again we are not giving too much details just trying to get the overall volume i mean by making some tonal washes or big washes okay we are not going for details we are simplifying that is the overall idea little bit of cerulean blue sort of a wash it is not purely cerulean blue some grayish leftover wash from the palette is also used but overall it's a kind of a very bluish gray kind of a color okay i don't want too much of hard edges there so i am just uh, softening the the glass as well as some of this uh, bluish tones so that it doesn't look very sharp okay it doesn't look very sharp some of the i mean some of the colors are mixing and some of the colors are separate little bit lost and found edges okay now let us make the tree here i am using uh, a mix of uh, olive green burnt sienna and maybe a touch of uh, yellow if required maybe a touch of blue for darker i mean accents and mainly it is mainly it is burnt sienna 
and olive green and I am using a little bit of a smaller brush and I am using the, I am painting with the belly of the brush side of the brush so that we get some random shapes at the out, outside okay so there we are in progressing with the tree foliages on the left Uh, you can practice these kind of brushworks, okay? You can practice uh, these kind of brushworks and apply it for your own trees. It is not something that only applicable for this particular uh, piece of artwork, this particular streetscapes. The brushwork, the technique can be used for your landscapes also. little bit care I'm being little bit careful about the some of the element that we have made the drawing for the, the figure and the auto rickshaw which is a which is a, a transport in India the small the small drawing below the foliage okay and the same thing on the on the right side the big foliages okay so I'm varying the tones also as you can see some of the tones are I mean lighter, some of the tones are darker, some are larger volumes, some are small I mean small touches so that you have a mix of uh, uh, large and small shapes, dark and light shapes etc and soft and hard uh, color mixings because uh, if you do that you can you can kind of suggest uh, forms um, shapes in the foliage in the foliages and it will look more I mean convincing Okay, uh, some of the foliages at the bottom, I mean bottom side, and some of those red advertisement board I'm I'm showing it through. I'm not fully covering that board, so that there is some sort of color variation and some sort of interest. Okay. So if you are finding this interesting, and if you are finding some value in this tutorial, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already, and press the bell notification. I'll be releasing more and more tutorial videos every week. And if you have any suggestion or comment, or if you would like to appreciate for my effort, please do so by writing them into the comment box below. I'll be more than happy to go through your comments and suggestions, and wherever required, I'll be. I mean trying my best to come out with my answers okay so I have sprinkled some water and uh, I mean now the foliages look little bit complete okay now some darker touches for the cars and on the car glass also you will find some shadows okay and if at all it is not there uh, in the reference we can always add some shadows on the on the front glass Okay, because that will make it a little bit more interesting. Some of some play of light it can be added. Some play of light can be added by creating the shadows. If you see the reference, there wasn't much play of light there. I mean, there was no much strong light. But here, since we have the freedom to add a little bit of uh, light into the overall scene, we will be add, doing that. We will be making some shadows and we will be adding some contrast to show that there are good amount of light in the overall scene. <coughs> some, some touches of the details for the car, car bonnet and other things and the wheels and shadows are the most critical things that is very much important whenever you make, make vehicles uh, in streetscapes, please do add the wheels and the shadows. They are too, they are much much important than anything else uh, uh, in the painting. I mean, I would say. The 
kind of a dry brush work I am using. I am not very precise here, okay. And this is a suggestive approach. You can you can see that the car is not very precise. It is uh, we are suggesting it, okay. And uh, when we say dry brush work, it is sort of uh, a thicker consistency paint, and we are not. Uh, applying the brush way, I mean, throughout with equal pressure. And the wheels and shadows for this car also. This car looks slightly tilted. I mean, I noticed it now, but that is okay. I mean, maybe the land is not very even. So, way if you are following along, you can probably fix that and make the car more straight. I mean, it is now slightly tilted. Right. Some more shadows maybe. See, the shadows uh, hooks it properly to the ground, okay. It, it makes it more believable, okay. Some shadows here. So that is how we are enhancing or improving the overall light on the painting. Some shadows on the bonnet, top of the bonnet also, because there is a foliage above. Okay, that will create some shadows. And uh, uh, you may think that it is kind of spoiling. We can lift out some of the colors, but overall, I think when it when it dries, it will look overall convincing. As I as say, some shadows are falling on top of the car. Okay. Right. And now the electric pole there. I am using a liner brush. Okay. Uh, since I am shooting this with the camera, I am finding it little difficult uh, always to draw the vertical line because the camera is sitting in front of me. It is blocking my view. But you try to make the lines vertical, I mean proper vertical whenever you draw electric pole and uh, anything vertical, try to make it really vertical, okay. Some lamp post, okay. And again, it is just suggestion, if you want it to be precise, you can make it precise. Some electrical cables coming from the left and it is going to the right maybe. Okay. Some, some electric poles here also. Okay, so we are, I'm not actually, we are not actually doing one-to-one uh, -one, uh, matching, I mean mapping from the reference to the this, our painting. So, uh, I mean, if you think a vertical element like an electric pole can help improving the composition, please feel free to add it, okay. another electric pole electric pole and i think we are pretty much uh, done with uh, with this i think the second electric pole uh, somehow got aligned with the corner of the building below behind we can probably avoid such a overlappings okay now let us make the 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 figures and add some additional details okay just uh, suggesting the scrutiny below okay all these details are very suggestive details, uh, not very precise. I am sorry that I have lost some uh, few minutes of video here. So what I did is I have uh, added more figures and added details for them and uh, added some shadow in the foreground and some put some highlight on the figures, uh, top of the figures. Those are the things that I have done uh, for which we lost the video. Uh, I think it was a technical issue. So we are uh, almost done and we can finish it by adding some directional lines and uh, probably signing now. I think uh, we don't have anything more to add. Uh, this is reading well. 
and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and press the bell notification if you have any suggestions or comments please do write them into the comment box below so thank you so much uh, once again for watching the tutorial and being with me and we will soon meet you with another interesting tutorial thank you very much and um, happy painting